Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will be going over relational and equality operators in our C++ programming tutorial series. Uh, this will be tutorial number eight, and I do recommend that you go and watch the previous tutorials so you can understand this one better. Now, if you go to my channel and navigate to my C++ programming playlist, you will find all my C++ videos. Uh, so let's get to business. Relational and equality operators in C++. Okay, so in tutorial number six, we talked about the Boolean data type. So let me declare a variable of type Boolean and name this result of expression. In fact, let's do it in a cleaner way. Expression and then do Boolean result of value comparison. Now, if you remember, the Boolean data type can only be assigned two values, true or false. And the reason I declared these variables of type Boolean is because we will be comparing expressions and values and the result result of the expression and values will either be true or false so forget these for a second let's talk about all the available relational and equality operators in C++ okay so the first one is equal to the next one is not equal to then you have greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to now the only operator here I want to put a special emphasis on is this one right here the equal to operator now this looks very much like the assignment operator but the assignment operator operator only has one equal to sign okay so if I say a is assigned to 5 what that does is that assigns the value 5 to a okay but when I say a is equal to 5 this is a relational comparison so is a equal to 5 if a is in fact also 5 this would evaluate to true if a is some other number than 5 this will evaluate to false okay so this is equal to, not equal to, uh, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Okay, so let me delete these and write some real code. So let's use uh, this variable right here. Okay, result of value comparison and we're gonna use the assignment operator and then over here we're gonna put a value comparison so let's do 5 equal to 5 so pretty much what's happening here is the computer is comparing is 5 equal to 5 and the result of this value comparison is being assigned to result of value comparison um, variable okay so remember anytime you use relational operators to compare two values the answer is either true or false and to make this even clearer let's just put this in parentheses okay so let's do another one result we can use the same variable for this whole thing it's signed to put this in parentheses and is seven greater than ten okay so this expression is gonna evaluate to false and the value false is gonna be assigned to the variable result of value comparison okay now let's do one more result of value comparison is assigned to let's do is 5 greater than or equal to 5 semicolon okay so the expression here is going to evaluate to true 
and the value will be assigned to result of value comparison okay and let's do one more result of value comparison is 2 not equal to 3 that's almost a question is 2 not equal to 3 yes it is not equal to 3 uh, 3 so this evaluates to true and the answer is assigned to result of value comparison now there's no not not there's not many examples I can give you guys until we go into if and else statements in C++ you use these uh, relational and equality expressions to perform if and else operations so if 5 is not equal to 2 do this you know if a is not equal to b do that and that we're going to come to that in a, in a, in a, in, a, in later videos and we're going to do a full coverage on everything okay so next let's do um, comparison of expressions so so far we have been comparing two values these are numerical constants there this is this is the number 5 this is the number 10 we can actually compare expressions and that is really when when the um, what what you will be using this is just child's play comparing two numbers a child's play so expressions is where the real um, stuff is gonna be at so let's uh, declare a couple of variables let me declare integer a b c in fact let's do it one by one integer a is b and remember I'm declaring a variable of type integer and I'm initializing into five okay that's what this expression means so let's do integer b is equal to 10 and let's do integer c is equal to 15 and what we can do here is I'm gonna use the other variable now I'm gonna do result of expression I can assign things like this a plus b larger than c plus b okay so this is purely math what the computer does is it adds a plus b which is 15 and it adds up c plus b which is 25 and then it sees if 15 is larger than 25 is 15 larger than 25 which evaluates the false and the value of this expression is assigned to this variable so let's do one more so result of expression let's say the expression is C plus B equals 2 a plus B so remember this is almost like a question it does C plus B equal to a plus B so what is C plus B it's 15 plus 10 25 a plus B is 15 does 25 equal to 15 this is gonna evaluate to false and the answer is going to be assigned to result of expression and like I said we will be using things like these when it comes down to if and else statements which is a big part of C++ so let's do one final example here and uh, close this this uh, tutorial okay so C plus B not equal to a plus b okay and put the semicolon remember that always so c plus b is 25 a plus b is 15 is 25 not equal to 15 yes so the expression is true evaluates to true and the answer is assigned to result of expression so result of expression carries the value true okay whatever you assign to it so remember the result of a relational operation is always a boolean value which is either true or false and the biggest thing is not to confuse the assignment operator with the equality operator okay always remember that okay so this brings us to the end of this tutorial please subscribe to my channel for more C++ videos to come and click the like button if you liked this video and thank you for watching. Also, don't forget, I have many more C++ videos. To watch them all for free, go to my channel and navigate to the C++ Programming Tutorials playlist. Thank you.